If you like tank games the same way I do, you definitely need to try Stug. Stug is a free multiplayer physics-based tank combat game where every shoot counts. Angle your armor to bounce incoming fire and ricochet. Shoot off walls to hit enemies in their weak spot. This game is developed by Bomb Sight Games and it's currently available to play at congregate.com. How about if we take a look to Stug? Before getting into a battle, let me show you a couple things about Stug. In Stug, you can customize your tank with camos, decals, and also emotes. So you can show up your colors the way you want it on the battlefield. You can do this by unlocking the garage, which is a level two. Play a few matches, gain some XP, and unlock the garage. In stock, you can unlock new tanks by using the research feature. You need to use XP to start unlocking new tanks. So, find your game style. Do you like heavy tanks, fast tank, medium tanks? Well, use your XP wisely. At level 12, you can unlock also another research tree, which will include America, Russia, and Germany, I guess. Uh, they're using some other names, but that's probably what it is. Now, we have three different game modes, Conquest, Battle, and Mystery Tank. Let's go to the battle now. Let's join a match in Conquest mode, where players need to control three areas in the map for as long as they can. The team who reaches 100 points win the match. The good thing is that you can recover the area if the enemy has control of. Today, we're going to be using the Grizzly Tank. The Grizzly MK1 is the first tank that the players unlocks, although it's unlocked at the start of the game, it's well balanced. That is both for easy to learn and easy to play. So do not feel discouraged that you're going to be completely overwhelmed at the beginning. The Grizzly, it's a very good tank. A little bit of the story of this Canadian tank is that in 1942, a British tank mission visited the United States and Canada. The goal of the visit was to standardize the fighting vehicles produced by the British, United States and Canada. The proposed name was Buffalo, but it was later changed to the Canadian fighting animal, the Grizzly, the bear native from North America. Hey, see, we have some story facts about this. The Grizzly 1 crews keep the general M4A1 Sherman appearance, complete with high profile and rounded armor. From the distance, it's almost impossible to distinguish them. The Sherman is the tank that produced the United States in World War II. But enough story, let's go to the gameplay. I'm gonna give you some tips about how to get better in stock. Number one, always protect your weak spot. Do not leave that spot uncovered, otherwise your opponent can destroy you with one shot. Boom chakalaka, that easy. The armors have this spot in the back that is super vulnerable to enemy shots. So be careful. Try to always keep your back, your weak spot cover. Could be against the wall, could be against another teammate, whatever works. Another thing that is important that you're gonna see some tank destroying the map, just completely destroy them and you're gonna be able to get some repair kits that will help you to get your tank up and running in no time. There is an option if you press and hold the R key to repair your tank, but your tank need to be under 80% of life in order to do it, and you're gonna be vulnerable during that time. So I strongly recommend you to collect those repair kits around the map. Remember, this is a team game. It's not just you against the world, okay? Try to make sure that you can be there to support your teammates. Be careful with those ricochet bullets. <laughs> we went down in one shot. Thank you, guess 9710. That was a really good shot. And again, it's not just you against the world. You need to rely on your teammates in order to control the point. Because in order to capture that area, you need to stay over that area for a little bit. Okay, for a little bit of time. So it's not automatic. Right now we have a one-on-one -on -one battle trying to dodge the enemy, the enemy bullets, waiting for some reinforcement. Now I'm getting attacked from the bottom. That's not nice, but again, always important to cover your weak spot. I was able to survive thanks to my teammate and thanks that I was able to also stay behind for a little bit. Now I got the R option available. That means that I can repair my tank 
Do not repair your tank in the open. You are an easy target. In this case, I was using one of the kill traits of the grizzly tank, the number one, which is wall, which it creates a wall in front of me. That will give me some extra protection, so I have enough time for me to repair my tank. But because I'm always trying to be involved in the action, <laughs> I didn't want to repair it. I decided to stay in the middle, supporting my teammates, and trying to make sure that we can control that area. Things are getting a little bit complicated. You can use those destroyed tanks to get some cover. Also get the booster that is getting recharged every couple seconds to gain the advantage in the battlefield. The second, the second ability of the Grizzly is the grenade. The grenade allows me to launch this grenade, which is quite useful. It does a lot of damage and you can shoot the grenade over the walls. Hmm, so you can shoot over obstacles to reach your opponent. At the same time, I was repairing my tank. I don't know if you noticed, but I can repair my tank and shoot at the same time. I cannot move, but I can shoot, so I can keep fighting. With my tank fully repaired, I can start taking control of the middle of the map and providing some distant support to my teammates. They're trying to control the capture point that is in the top of the map and the other one that is at the bottom left corner. So, well, trying to be sure to be there to support your teammates all the time. Now we have another battle. Thanks to my teammate, I was able to stay alive and get those, there you go, those repair kits. Again, they're super, super useful. They help you to keep fighting without the need of stopping and repair your tanks. Okay, one-on-one -on -one battles. Always take advantage of the map. Okay, in the map, you're gonna be able to see those different walls, obstacles. Take advantage of those in order to provide some damage to the opponent and also some defense to your vehicle. You can also use the booster in speed to push your teammates a little bit so they can move faster. As I was mentioning before, teamwork is essential. It's not the same one-on-one -on -one battles or four versus one battles when you have an easy target most of the time. Right now, we're moving together as a pack. It's a pack of wolves searching and attacking new preys. It's very important to take control of the map and stay close with your teammates. There is three different kill streaks. For the grizzly tank, the first one is the wall, the second one is the grenade, and the third one is the artillery. The artillery will cover a ground area and all the vehicles in that area will receive damage. Again, it's important to take advantage of those kill streak perks because if you go down, you won't be able to use them. You need to start from the beginning collecting them. Remember, with the grizzly tank, number one is the wall, number two is grenade, number three is artillery. Right now, we're looking for a sweet spot for us to repair our tank and continue in this battle. But always keep an eye on the areas as you can see in the top of the screen, there is a capture point that is getting recovered by the enemy in the bottom left corner. Go there, support your teammates, and get it back. It's normal to fail a couple shots, but it's always good to have a friend close to you who can take care of business. Mission complete! We recover point A, and now it's time to go to point B and provide support to our teammates. Sometimes, I'm not really sure if you actually, I destroyed my teammate in that one, <laughs> but it's always important to go there, help them, and if it's too late, sometimes you can pick up those repair kits that can keep you alive and you can continuously supporting your team. Always flank your opponent. That is a strategy that works very well. Careful with those ricochet shots. But usually when you go into that sweet position and get your opponent directly into the weak spot, it's a one-shot boom chakalaka kill. Emotes! Emotes is super useful to communicate with your team. With the middle button of your mouse, you can send some signal to your opponent to look into one specific direction. I don't know if you noticed, but I just shoot the artillery. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not showing on the screen right now, but everything is getting destroyed in that area. Instead of rushing, 
and recover. Point B, take your time and repair your tank. It's very important. You don't want to go to a battle if your tank is like a halfway dead. Uh, it's probably more useful if you take your time, repair it, use the wall to cover yourself so you can escape and try one more time to flank the opponent. There is different damage that you can do to the opponent. You can do some damage in the front armor, which is the toughest, on the side, and on the weak spot, which is in the back. Of course, always trying to go for the back. Even when sometimes you get those ricochet shots that are so, so, so... They're cool because sometimes they can ricochet and jump from one tank to the other. So you can do damage to two tanks with only one shot. Can you believe it? Yes, it's like that. It's so, so crazy. Right now, the game is getting close to an end. We got complete, complete control of the map. Point A and B are under our command. So it's a good time to go behind enemy lines and cause some mayhem. The battle is almost over. A couple seconds to go. And victory is going to be ours. One more time. It's very important to work with your teammates. Communication is critical. Very important to always use emotes. Use the middle button of the mouse to refer a specific area of the map so the teammates can go there and take care of business. We hope you enjoy this gameplay of Stock, created by Bonsai Games and available at congregate.com. Another really cool feature before ending this video is this, a cool replay of the best play of the match. So, so cool. It looks like a, a movie, right? The, the angle that they use is just fantastic. We hope you enjoy Stock, available right now at congregate.com.